How are we doing today, guys? Sam and Casey back with this week's fishing report for you. It's the summertime. All your northern bay stuff is really heating up. Uh, it's your typical summer patterns. We only have three more days to fish with the striped bass before the closure comes up. So most of your northern bay tactics, whether you want a live line around the lighthouses or structure like the bridges, um, some of the fish have kind of been a little bit more spread out than they once were. I've heard some fish moving over to the eastern side up by Tolchester, Pools Island kind of area. Um, of course, there is still a big concentration of them up the, in the Patapsco all the way up to the Key Bridge, but um, up towards the mouth of Patapsco can be good fishing for you too. Live line and spot around structure or casting some jigs towards those schooled up fish out in the open water. If you want to target your stripers a little bit south, you're going to want to go into the rivers where we have a little bit better oxygen. Um, or areas like Poplar Island is always a good spot this time of the year. Those islands do well. They hold good oxygen. That's really important in the summer months when that water gets really hot, it really starts to cook that oxygen. So you want to look for those better oxygen areas. You can find that online. Just Google Chesapeake Bay oxygen charts. You can see that. It can really help you out. Um, however, perch fishing is still in full effect. You can certainly do that all through the closure. So Casey, what about the perch? Yes, sir. Once the rockfish you're not allowed to fish for, you can go out for perch. They're always around in the summertime. It's a good time for them. You want to use, you know, your regular Sabiki rigs, perch hounders, um, your super rooster tails. I know you were catching a bunch on them the other day. Um, I was just using the regular Sabiki rig. I actually caught a yellow perch about nice. two weeks ago. So they're still out there. Probably rare for that, but white perch for sure. Yeah, absolutely. That's always a good time this time of the year. They're everywhere. Whether you want to fish shallow or deep, they're all out there. Uh, moving down towards the beach a little bit, the redfish have started to progress up the bay some here, um, up towards the gas stocks. I heard of some few. A few of those big bull drum we see in the summer months. Cobia fishing, to what I hear, is kind of just slowed down a little bit down towards the tunnel. Um, we should start to see a few of those fish start to push up just a little bit close to the Maryland line as we progress here into August. So your basic stuff for them, you're moving around a lot, covering a ton of water. Most of that's going to be sight fishing for your cobia. Get up in a tower, pitch out either some eels or some um, bigger salt plastics like 10-inch BKDs. Bubblegum is a really popular color for that too. Um, same thing for the redfish. However, they're a little bit more schooled up. So hopefully once you get over to school, you catch quite a few of them. So the other thing we want to talk about is moving down towards the ocean. Tuna fishing is kind of slowed as it's that time of the year, but the good marlin fishing is really close to us guys. So really good time to get out there offshore. Really just a mixed bag. It's that typical summer, so summer stuff out there. Sea bass and flounder fishing, from what I hear, has been really good. Um, the inshore flounder fishing back in the back bays has been a little bit tough, but moving out towards some of those inshore reefs has been pretty good. And the sea bass are really in full effect right now. Yeah. The only other thing is crabbing. Um, oh, yeah. What's you know, going I want to talk about crabbing. Uh, it's the summertime. You want to get out there with the trout lines, you know, get on your pier, hand line some with some chicken neck. Um, it's gone a little bit slower now. It was, it was picked up in the start of summer, but slowed down a bit. You can still catch crabs, though. Yeah. Chicken necks uh, on your trout lines, razor clams, some eels. You'll still catch them up in, in the creeks. You got to find your spots, but they're still out there. Yeah, a lot of good crabbing right now. A little slow, but it should certainly not last too long. So, thanks, guys, for stopping by, and good luck out there.